Hello everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious and easiest lemon curd. Um, this, this video came by, this video happened because I wanted, to buy, I wanted to buy lemon curd and the grocery store didn't have it. So I ended up having to make my own and I actually prefer it way more than store bought. So I thought I'd share this recipe with you. So first things first, what you want to do is we're going to add three eggs to a medium pot that is set to medium heat. And I'm actually not going to set it to heat until the eggs and everything are inside. Just because we don't want to scramble the eggs. And I do actually have a recipe for um, a vegan lemon curd that doesn't use eggs. And that's actually the lemon curd I, oh my gosh, I can't do this. Um, that I use in my Etsy shop and it's very, very tart and lemony. So. If you would like that recipe, definitely comment down below and we can do that for you guys. And then we're going to add one cup of sugar and half a cup of lemon juice. So that's roughly the juice of two lemons. And now we're going to set it to medium heat. I know I want to whisk constantly. So um, the reason why is because we don't want the heat from the pot to cook the eggs and scramble them because that will just completely throw off the texture of a lemon curd and it will just be really, really gross. So this is the kind of recipe where you just kind of want to like live next to the stove while it's being cooked. <laughs> so we're going to whisk until everything is blended and until the pan starts to heat up. So I will see you guys when we get to that stage. Okay, so it's fully blended together. Can you see that? I don't know. I don't want to spill it. But hopefully you guys saw that. Um, so now that everything is blended together, we are going to add half a cup, no, a quarter of a cup of unsalted butter. And one tablespoon of lemon zest. And you're going to want to keep whisking this until it gets thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. So I'm just going to keep whisking. I'm going to like set up my little base here next to the stove and hopefully not spill it everywhere um, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like or what you should be aiming for with the back of the spoon thing. <laughs> okay so it's been about five minutes and I have been whisking it constantly and so it is now at the stage where it will cook the back of the spoon so I'll just show you so you want to put like a little wooden spoon in there stir it around and then lift it up and then you could use your finger but it would burn it um, just kind of like make a little line or wipe it away in the center and if it stays like that, that's what we are looking for. So it should coat the back of a spoon, that's the, the saying. Like this is also used for like custard and pudding and stuff like that. So now that it's done, and can you guys see? It's lovely, it smells like lemon curd, it smells so nice. We are going to remove it from the heat, turn off my stove, and set it onto the ground. <laughs> If you guys are curious, this is where it goes. Um, over to the side so that I don't step on it. So like I can still continue filming without worrying that I'm gonna burn my foot. Um, okay, so now, so I have a little tip here for you guys who are new to like pudding or custard or like curd making, and you're worried about um, scrambling the eggs or if you did like cook the eggs a little bit. Don't worry because this step here will save you. So what you need to do is get a bowl, whatever bowl you want your curd to end up in, and a mesh sieve and pop that on top. And then we are going to pour the curd through the sieve into the bowl. And the sieve is going to catch, <laughs> oh, I'm coughing. The sieve is going to catch any of that cooked egg or like any or like seeds from the lemon juice or anything like that that you don't want in your curd. And you're going to end up with delicious smooth lemon curd. Like how cool is that? So it's kind of like a little safety net in case the eggs cooked a little bit. And there we go. And so it'll thicken as it cools. So if it looks a little, you, you want it to look thick-ish, but if it looks it's like slightly runnier than you'd like, don't worry because it'll thicken up in the fridge. So you're gonna wanna cool this um, at room temperature for 10 minutes and then pop it in the fridge and it chill it until it's nice and cold and then it's ready to be used. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. Um, comment down below if you found this video because you're looking to make lemon curd for a certain recipe. Like tell me which recipe you want to use it for. I think that would be so cool. Um, I'm actually using this lemon curd in <laughs> last week's video, so I'm filming at the same time. Um, it is my dad's birthday cake because we wanted a lemon and raspberry cheesecake. 
and I couldn't find them in the grocery store. And I'm like, oh, I'll just make it anyways. So this is used in that recipe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you're notified when um, my next video goes live. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye!